Okay, good morning. I'm here with Zoe Henrock. Henro, Zoe Henro, yeah. And she is a, uh, her ballet company is going to be doing um, the Snow Queen set to music by Ethel Smythe. And that is to, um, tomorrow, December 19th, December 19th and 20th. So Zoe, tell us a little about, about how you um, wound up doing a ballet to music by Ethel Smythe. <laughs> Um, well, so obviously this year brought about a lot of let's do things differently. Um, usually we do a version of the Nutcracker called Nutcracker in Wonderland. Um, ballet Collaboratory is known for reimagining tales. Um, and I like to put feminist twists on tales. Ah, nice. Uh, so in entering this year, uh, when I landed on the Snow Queen for the story, which is very female centered, mm -hmm. um, I really wanted to make sure that I played a little bit with the tradition of what is used for ballet as far as music goes. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw this as a great opportunity to use a female composer. Mm -hmm. So I actually asked a lot of my friends who are musicians, you know, what are some female composers that have the same drama and crescendos and, you know, big orchestral arrangements as say Tchaikovsky, who's used a lot for ballet. Sure. And Ethel came up. Nice, nice, great, wonderful. Okay. And, and you hadn't known anything about her before that? So. No, I had never heard her music. I had never heard her name, um, <laughs> you know, and I have to say, like, at first I started listening to her music and I was like, this isn't going to work. It's not going to work because it changes too much. And at first I, I just really was not convinced. Uh -huh. And then I kept playing it. That's usually what I do when I'm choreographing. You know, I started working on this in July. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and so I just kept it playing in the background. And then every now and then I'd be like, ooh, I hear, you know, I hear a snow queen here. Oh, I hear a reindeer here. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of started to come together um, because I was listening to a lot of female composers. Um, and she just, she kept coming up as like the thing that was giving me epiphanies. <laughs> nice. nice. Uh, which was great. Wonderful. And this is the serenade, right? Um, I'm using a couple different, different, things. Uh, okay. different things from Ethel Smythe. Mm -hmm. um, I, ballet usually has very large orchestra type of um, music. Um, but I, so yes, the serenade. And then um, I have the, the little opening, the overture of the records, because the rest has singing on top of it. Yeah. Um, which wasn't going to mesh well. Um, but yeah, I, I think that it really portrays the story. It's very magical music, mm -hmm. uh, very grandiose. Mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's tons of drama. Okay. Um, and the Snow Queen, the storyline is very dramatic too. You know, it's this, this woman who's basically who creates cold and ice in the world and, um, you know, the main two characters, the orphans, Gerda and Kai, um, Kai gets struck in the heart by a part of the Snow Queen's mirror and that turns him into like this evil version of himself. Mm -hmm. So it's very, you know, it's, it, there's tons of magic going on um, and the music really captures that. Okay, well, that's very, that's fascinating. I'm not a much of a ballet person myself, but you know, I've been listening to Ethel Smythe's music for years, so it's just really been exciting, all these things that have been happening lately with people, you know, hearing more of her music. And, um, you know, the Grammy nomination mm -hmm. is a big thing that's just happened. So, so anyway, I look forward to the performance, and, um, and I hope I can share this with some of our fans and, you know, get this out there in the world. And yeah. you must be very busy. You have a big troupe of young dancers. How have they responded to the music? Yeah, um, we have, so we have a school at Ballet Collaboratory too. So we have a professional company and a school. Um, so, you know, we filmed this all with COVID precautions. So the company 
they quarantined for two weeks before we went oh, wow. to film. And then all the students had some sort of creative mask with their costume. Mm -hmm. um, so that was, that was a lot. Yes. Um, and so we were actually rehearsing, we rehearsed in person in pods up until two weeks before filming. Wow. And then we took rehearsals onto Zoom. Um, and because Ethel's music is, it's so layered. Yeah. Especially the orchestral arrangements. Um, and it's hard. There are some sixes. There's like a 10 that, that comes in there at one point. Like it's, you know, cause in dance, we, we count things a little bit different than musicians do. Um, so for young dancers, mm. that's difficult because usually a ballet class is in eights, right? Five, eight, six, seven. And that's what they know. So I think it was a great challenge for them to be inspired by the melody. Yeah. Much more than counting mm. uh, really, really diligently. Um, and they did great. I was actually really surprised. Some of our younger groups actually came in seeming really, really prepared. Um, and what was great about filming is that I can be counting the entire time because then we just put the music over it. Right. So I could help our younger dancers even while we were filming. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wow. What an experience. And, you know, what a, a, it's been a unique year. We hope we won't have another year like this one, but, but we've all, that's really wonderful the way you've dealt with it. Okay. Thank you so much. And we will look forward to the performances. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.